The Pike County Health Department is working to reduce domestic violence by hosting quarterly meetings of the newly formed Domestic Violence Coalition. The first meeting of 2024 will be held March 5th from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. and features sexual assault nurse examiner and emergency department manager Megan Allen as the speaker. For 2024, this is our first meeting of the Pike County Domestic Violence Coalition. Um, it's fairly newly formed and uh, we're having a meeting, at our upcoming quarterly meeting, and it's open to the public. So we want everyone to know they're invited and look forward to seeing more public input to our efforts to educate and provide outreach around the topic of domestic violence. We wanted to um, address and provide education and outreach so that individuals know what to do before they get in um, an emergency situation where they, they need to call 911. Appalachian Wireless Forward Pay. If you want to connect with no credit check, no contracts, and most features of postpaid, we're talking about Forward Pay. This month, get $75 off select prepaid devices. Forward Pay, because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. 41% of women and 26% of men will experience some form of domestic violence in their lifetimes, and one in four women and one in seven men will experience physical domestic violence. Um, we have ample resources in Pike County and Eastern Kentucky for individuals um, suffering from some form of domestic violence. Um, some individuals struggle when trying to text or call national numbers while not, might be helpful. Accessing those resources are not always readily available. So we wanted to provide education and outreach so that individuals in Pike County know who they can call, where to go, how to get assistance with EPO, um, what the laws are around domestic violence. Um, so that's really our goal is to, our mission, you know, is to educate, provide outreach and um, reduce the incidence of domestic violence that ends in a very poor outcome. For more information, go to Pike County Health Department on Facebook. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.